Go. Hi, my name is Pamela Tice, and welcome. I'm going to show you how to throw today. We're going to learn the basics of how to make a cylinder, how to pull efficiently, as well as how to make a bowl from a cylinder, of pulling the curve in the bowl, and then we're going to talk about how to finish and trim them. Okay, everything derives from centering, so you want to make sure that our body mechanics are right. In this um, studio that we're working in, our wheels are low. In my own studio, I raise it up so I have better body mechanics so I don't hurt my back. Make sure you get up and stretch so that you don't hurt yourself and you get problems with the hips and the low back. Since we're working with our wheels down low, which is traditional, we mostly have them this way, what we want to make sure is that you lean forward. We're in close. I want to use my legs as support. I want to make sure that I am in a comfortable position where my wrist is straight so that it's not bent back and hurting and putting pressure. When you're actually stronger, if you push from the bone. So if you are pushing from this way, there's a lot more strength than if you're pushing from this way and bending that wrist. So we want to make sure we keep that in line. Brace on our legs support. Anytime those hands can touch, they should always touch. And then lean into it. Use your body weight. Even someone very small can center a lot of clay if you use your body and keep stable. If things are, you want to make sure you're not moving with it, you want to keep stable and hold your position. Make minor adjustments as you get closer. The other thing is make sure that if you are starting to move, the hardest thing for beginners is to not move with that clay. Tighten that upper arm It'll help hold you in place. One last thing I want to point out is all these trimmings, take and gather them up, no matter if they're drier or wetter, take and gather them up, put them in a ball, put them, dunk them in a bucket of water, pull them out and squeeze that water out. Put this in your bag, it'll be perfect for um, usually the next time you go to trim or a couple days and then you can use that clay again. That way you're not wasting all of this clay that you trimmed out of your pot. Um, thank you for watching my videos and my name is Pamela Tice. I hope it's helpful and informative. Keep in mind that there's lots of ways to throw and you have to find out what's best for you.